Today we all celebrate the famous poet Kanagadas Jayanti. Birthday celebration, birth anniversary celebration, festival. Kanagadas of course, untouchable is one who preaches virtue but does not practice it. Who serves the king and yet wishes him ill. Who lusts after a war. Who poisons the patient through medicine. Kanaga Daza was a Haridaza saint and philosopher popularly called Dasha Shreshta Kanaga Daza. He was a renowned composer of Carnatic music, poet, reformer and musician. He is known for his Kirtanas and Uboga and his compositions in the Kannada language for Carnatic music. Like other Haridasas, he used simple Kannada and native metrical forms for his compositions. The art of preaching through Kanaga Daza. Kanaga Daza said, who preaches virtue does not practice ill, he is an untouchable. The people keep on preaching like we Swamiji, saints, teachers, religious leaders and uh, politicians, everybody preaches. But what Kanagadasa said is, what the world needs is before you preach, you should have five stages. Feel, smell, taste, touch and see. If you have gone through the five stages of that, then you have the right to even open your mouth. Otherwise, you have no right to enter into any temple. Means you have a teachers have got no right to enter any classrooms. Who preaches virtue but does not practice? That was the problem in the society. The poverty of the society was the head of the family, the father and mother. They don't practice what they preach to the children. The family broke, the joint family broke, family tree was not there. It was a curse. Now we are trying to connect the family and the joint family and the family tree. For that, make sure whatever you wanted, concentrate. Your focus should be perfect. And if your focus is perfect, you intend to practice. When you intend to practice, then you do not even have to preach. Your work talks, your walk talks, and people watching you, they just follow, they melt with you. And in that melting, you can find golly gold, you can find only power. Kanaka Dasa said, who serves the king and yet wishes him ill? You serve the students, but you you wishes him ill means without you practicing and you talk nonsense, children don't understand. Before you serve the king means king is what? Not the king sitting on the throne. King are your students. The king are your people who you came as for the, for the politicians. The people are the king. For the doctor, the patient is king. For Swamiji's their, their, their shishyas are the kings and when you wishes them you you when you serve them you should not talk from behind and that was practiced even in the houses relatives comes friends come the moment before they could even turn you talk ill about them when you talk ill about them then you are an untouchable yes you are worse than an untouchable you are not should not be considered so you, the change in the family, the change in the basic structure is very, very important. Kanaka Dasa said, who lusts after a war? When you talk about that you lust, means people think a, a prostitute, you lust, sex, all those things. No, no, no. When you talk about a prostitute, that means you are trying to put your hand into somebody else's pocket which doesn't belong to you. Whom you have not loved, whom you have not worked. You are a pickpocket who lusts after a war, means you, you, those who go after those who lust after a, a beautiful body or a sexual body of another woman means you can also have a lust on another person's money and though that is what happened with the children before they could work hard and create a bigger land they go and fight with their family for the piece of land that is also lust after a, not a war but lust after a particular thing lust after a war that you should need correction when that is corrected where there is poverty there is only love where there is lies there is only truth where there is devil there is only God who poisons the patient through medicines? Yes, 
We can be teachers without the practice, like my, 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 math, my mathematics teacher who never practices how to make ma maths through fun, who, who doesn't practice Vedic mathematics or Chinese mathematics. There are varieties of mathematics which has got beautiful shortcut and it's really fun to make them understand, to make every cell in the brain wake up. And when the cells in the brain wakes up, economy blooms yes economy cannot bust you can see economy bust the economy busted you can see it doesn't bust when it busts because when the children of that community doesn't practice when the teachers doesn't practice science and create the whole area in the make the children to experiment on varieties of science and social science and the language teachers make the children to understand what language what volume to be spoken then who poisons the patient through medicine you are poisoning the children through your you know through your preaching without practicing let us change that when we change it then we can celebrate kanagadasa jayanti yes before we celebrate make sure these things what kanagadasa said was very very important who preaches virtue but does not practice it is called an untouchable who serves the king and yet wishes him ill is called an untouchable who lusts after a war is untouchable who poisons the patient through medicine is untouchable let us practice sweat it out and we see gold through kanagadasa's verse wishing you all a happy kanagadasa jayanti